Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to talk about, it's something I was thinking about the other day. I, I don't make I'm switching videos. I'm not like, hey, I got the iPhone, I'm switching to the Z Flip, or hey, I've got the S21, I'm switching to the Fold. I, I don't do that stuff. But there is some lessons learned having switched to a different phone. And I wanna highlight that here because I was using a Samsung phone, I was using my Z Flip 5G, and I was also using the iPhone 12. Well, I am now using double Samsungs. I'm not using an iPhone. I haven't since these phones came out. So I have the Z Flip 3 and I have the Z Fold 3. I'm not using an iPhone and no SIM card in it. I'm just recording my videos with it. And there are a couple things that I actually miss using Android devices exclusively right now, as opposed to usually what I carry as an Android and an Apple phone. So that's what I want to talk about. There are three things that I miss that I wish that I still had having switched over to only Android devices. And before we get into this though, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's talk about these three things. Okay, the first thing that I miss is being able to use Apple Pay. Yes, I understand there's Google Pay, there's Samsung Pay, there's LG Pay, there's all sorts of these different payment methods you can use. I have an Apple card, I have my bank stuff set up. I find Apple Pay really kind of to be the best in my opinion. I, I don't, the other ones work just fine. I don't ever use those. I have my Apple card, I have my debit card. I just like to use Apple Pay. So ever since I've switched over, I do miss being able to use that. And regardless of whether I do set up Samsung Pay or another one, I still can't use my Apple card. I mean, I guess I could still use the physical card, but then I could just use my regular debit card. And I kind of like the ability to use that straight from my phone and not have to carry all the extra stuff. So Apple Pay is probably the biggest thing that I miss having switched over. And having just really started using that in the last six to eight months is kind of surprising that I really adopted it as quickly and started liking it as much as I do. But that's just the reality of it. Ever since I switched to the both Android phones, I'm like, I miss being able to use Apple Pay. So that's number one. That's the number one thing that I missed since I switched over. The other thing is iMessage. So iMessage, and a lot of people are like, yeah, yeah, I miss this. It's indispensable, I have to have it. It's actually kind of lower on the list to me than Apple Pay. I do like Apple Pay, I do like iMessage, but I don't send a lot of pictures, I don't send a lot of videos. It's not the end of the world. And I mean, my wife has an iPhone and I text her all the time. I do miss out though, because it, even though I disable everything, I'm still not getting a lot of group text stuff. So I've got eight siblings. So if I, anyone in my family ever decides to send an, they all have Apple, except for one, they're all using iMessage. So for whatever reason, whenever they send messages, I'm not getting it in my group message, even though it should be working. So iMessage is convenient. It's nice. People really like it. People use it all the time. It's not the end of the world for me, but I do wish that I still had it. It makes things more simple, especially like talking to my wife, three of my kids, four of my kids use Apple. So iMessage really is simple and it makes life easier, but there are alternatives, but I'm not using WhatsApp. We're not using Signal. We're not using all this other stuff. It's built into the phone already and it works really, really well, especially when you have Wi-Fi support, even if you don't have internet support. So that's nice. Also being able to send money. Sometimes I want to be able to transfer money using my messages and using Apple Pay and I can't do that. And that's a tandem thing. When you look at using Apple Pay and you look at using iMessage, they go hand in hand. So if I want to send money to my wife, I want to send money to my kids or whatever, I can't do that right now. So I have to go pop my SIM card in because you can't use it over Wi-Fi. You have to put your SIM card in the phone and then you can do something that way. So I miss Apple Pay. I miss iMessage. And then the other thing that I miss is CarPlay. So CarPlay is really, really nice. I recently bought a new car. I've got a 2020 Toyota Supra. I've really been enjoying using CarPlay a lot. I, I don't use it so much in my Subaru. It's not something that really I use a lot with our, with our Volvo, but when I'm in my Supra, I really enjoy it. It's super nice. It's simple. It works with Spotify. It works with my YouTube music. It works with my maps. It works with my calls. It's just really nice. I, I never really used CarPlay before, and I got my car, I had my iPhone, I'm like, hey, this is really nice. I've got CarPlay, I've got iMessage, I've got Apple Card, I've got Apple Pay, all these things that I just finally kind of started using. Oh, also, this is kind of a number four. I actually kind of miss Apple TV Plus. 
you would think that it would be available for you to use with your Android phone since you can use it with all these different TVs that have Android based operating systems so you can use your smart features. No, I was trying to, I was sitting on the couch the other night because my wife went to bed early. I wanted to watch an episode of Ted Lasso. I tried to get Apple TV Plus on my phone and it's not there. So yeah, <laughs> Apple TV Plus would be nice. And of course, yes, it, it's something that's part of the Apple ecosphere. It's gonna be on your iPhones. It's one way for them to try and lure you in to stick with their phones. So that way you can avail yourself of all the nice things and the benefits that the Apple ecosphere has. But I don't know why, I, I just assumed that it would be available on Android, but it's not. So I do miss Apple TV Plus. I miss CarPlay. I miss Apple Card and Apple Pay and I miss iMessage. And those are really the four things. I mean, I guess if you look at it, you're like, well, I mean, dude, there's not really a whole lot else. <laughs> yeah, so there are things that if you get used to using them or if you want to use them, they are exclusive to Apple products and iPhones. So moving over to Samsung or moving over to an Android platform, if you're using Apple, those are some things to keep in mind in the back of your head if you're like, hey, I want to use one of these fancy form factors where I can do a flip phone or I can use the folding phone. You know, there are a lot of cool things. There are nice trade-offs. So, I mean, I'm using the stylus with this. I make my thumbnails for my videos. I do a lot of cool things with the Samsung phones. I very, very much enjoy them. And then it's like I get in my car. And I'm like, well, I just have regular Bluetooth, which is fine. I can still use regular Bluetooth. I still make my phone calls. I still am able to use YouTube Music and stream it through Bluetooth. Uh, but yeah, there's not a workaround for iMessage. There's not a workaround for iTunes or Apple Music, sorry. There's not a workaround for Apple TV+. Plus. There's not a workaround for Apple Pay and the Apple Card. So, oh, other than using the physical card. But really, yeah. So if you're considering switching from a Apple phone to a Android phone of some sort, you might miss some of these things. And not to try and scare you or convince you to stick with Apple because I don't care. I don't really like them as a company. I just, I, I'm a tech nerd, so I test out everything and I test out and use all these products. They're not my favorite. So I'm not trying to convince you to stay with Father Apple. But at the end of the day, if you do switch, there are some things you need to take into consideration if you're talking about moving over to a completely different platform. So there are things that you will miss. Yeah, you know, there are also benefits to using Samsung. I mean, hey, if you, leave Apple and you go to Samsung, you go to Pixel, or you go to a lot of other phones, you get cool things. I mean, that's something Android is known for that Apple isn't. Innovation and cool things like, look, you're not going to, you don't get this experience with using an, an iPhone. You don't get this experience with using an iPhone. You can't get this experience with using an iPhone. So yeah, there are a lot of legitimate reasons to use other phones. And usually I use both of them. I use one Android and I use one Apple phone that way I can kind of have the best of both worlds. I test both of them. Right now I find myself in a precarious position because I really like the Z Flip and the Z Fold and I don't really want to use my iPhone, but I did order the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm going to test it out when it gets here. I'll probably put my SIM card in it for a few weeks and then I'll be back to the same old, same old where I'm like, well, I've got both of these Samsung phones and well, I missed those Apple features again. So there is something to it. There are definitely reasons that it's nice to be able to use an Android phone, but there are the drawbacks. So that's all I've got in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.